in five and a half years of college and two degrees, there's one thing that stuck with me more than anything else that I learned during that entire time. It was one of my math teachers, and his name was Domingo Wajas Akira. And he stood up in front of the class, and he said, there will come a time when you realize that everything you have been taught up to this time is nothing but bullshit. And that's the way I felt when I started researching nutrition and health. Because so many of the things that we're told by the mainstream media simply aren't true. And they're missing a lot of things that are really, really important. For instance, what if I told you that your soon-to-be bowl of nachos was actually legally classified as a pesticide rather than as a food by the EPA? And what if I told you that coconut oil, which is a saturated fat, which is evil, actually is good for you and in small studies has been used to reverse some of the symptoms of Alzheimer's and dementia and I eat a lot of it like every day and um, just there were so many things like this that the mainstream media gets flat out wrong so that's why I decided to write Common Sense Health. It's a simple no-nonsense guide that looks at Detox, diet, and physical activities. Start with detox because you can't heal if you don't get the crud out of your life. It's like trying to keep your floors clean when the kids keep tracking in mud. So first I break down uh, cleaning products, household things, stuff that you want to get out of your life. And then I talk about diet, the things you want to avoid, again with the detox, and the types of food you want to look for in your diet, like healthy fats and good vegetables and high quality meats. And, you know, we want to avoid GMOs and things like that. So it's, it's really important. Now, there's just so many things that, quite frankly, frankly, the mainstream media gets wrong because they're being paid big money by big pharma and big ad to send you the wrong messages. Anyway, and then we finally finish up in the book with physical activities because this uh, coconut oil can also be used for something called oil pulling, which improves your dental hygiene and the health of your gums. And there are other simple things that you can just work into your everyday life that will help improve your health. And I just wanted people to have a no-nonsense guide to start where they are with what they have to improve their health. And if you'd like, you can download a free chap the first chapter free on my website, and I hope you'll take a look. And if it's right for you, I hope that you'll use it as a tool to get you started in the right direction to improve your health. Thanks.